Hi, welcome to another Falcon 4 BMS tutorial. This is going to be a really quick tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to take off, uh, the taxiing process, and basically how to get airborne. And it's for, you know, beginners to the game that don't really know how to navigate an airbase. Uh, the first thing we need to do is, in order to talk to the tower on the airbase, we need to program the frequency for the tower, the radio frequency, into our data cartridge. And uh, in order to do that, I'm going to refer you to the data cartridge video. Watch that first and then come back here. And uh, once you have a frequency set, you're pretty much good to go. So I'm just going to, I'm in the campaign now. It's a random flight that was automatically created by the ATO. I'm just going to get in game and then we'll take it from there. Okay, so we're now in game on the taxiway and we're ready to take off and get this flight rolling. Now there's a few things that I need to do in order to make that happen. Number one is I need to taxi my aircraft um, onto the threshold of the runway. And before I do that, I need to request permission to take off. And once I'm finally in position on the runway, I'm going to be cleared to take off by the air controller in the tower. And this is really important on busy air bases. It's really important on in the campaign because if you don't coordinate with the tower, you're going to tend to pretty much get people killed. There's going to be mid-air collisions. There's going to be collisions when you take off. So let's go over the fundamentals of taxiing, okay? So we need to have our nose wheel steering on. The nose wheel steering allows the front wheel of the gear to basically operate like a car and you can make turns as you would in a car okay the indication for the nose wheel steering is on the right side it's on the right side of the HUD here right here this this guy right here ARNWS that means nose wheel steering is activated and if I turn nose wheel steering off you'll see it go away okay that tells you if the nose wheel steering is on and how do you turn on and turn off the nose wheel steering the default key is shift forward slash and just so you know, just for your own information, that's also the same key is also used for missile step uh, on the HOTUS. So we need to make sure that um, where our nose wheel steering is on, then what we're going to do is we're going to increase the throttle to about 25% and just let it roll. And if we start to go too fast, if we start to lose control of the aircraft, we're going to hold down the brakes, the wheel brakes, and that's going to be your K key. You're, you have to hold it down in order to brake. And um, the way we're going to turn while we're on the taxiway, we're going to use the rudder, either the rudder pedals or if you have a, uh, a joystick with a twist axis, then we're going to use the twist on the joystick. But the rudder will allow you to turn. And the thing is when you're taxiing is you want to make very slight inputs. You don't want to, like, you know, really slam on the rudder or go too fast because that will turn they'll uh, cause you to flip over so that being said let's unpause the game and let's request permission to take off and the way we talk to the tower is we're going to use our comms okay and that's going to be through the t key the tango key on the keyboard will bring up the tower comms and we can see here there's a few options we can request a hot pit refuel we don't want to do that we can have them install or remove chocks we don't need to do that this guy right here, request taxi, that's what we want to do. And once we do that, I'm just going to turn my comms back on. There's probably a lot of AI chattering right now. Once we uh, request taxi, then the AI will, the controller will uh, give us permission to either hold in place or to uh, taxi onto the runway. Serpent 1-1, one, one, ready for departure. So I'm going to increase my throttle sure. a little one, bit. One, taxi. I've been uh, given clearance to taxi. I'm just going to, so you can see here my throttle, I'm, I'm just a little bit above idle. 70% on the RPM gauge. 70% on the RPM gauge is idle, and I'm at a little bit below 80. If you go above 80, then you're going to tend to pick up enough momentum that you can actually take off. So we want to stay below 80 or so. And you can see there's another flight in front of me. There's another flight in front of me and they're taking off. 
This is uh, what you expect to run into in the campaign when you have a busy airbase. And right now I took I put the throttle to idle because I noticed I was going a little too fast. And that will make me slow down a bit. And if I wanted to decrease the speed even further, I could just hold down the brakes like that. So these guys are taking off. Can you apply the brakes and then use the rudder to turn? And you see the other flight is now airborne. Serpent 1-1, one, one. you're cleared for takeoff. I've been cleared to take off. And they might say position and hold. And if they say position and hold, that just means go onto the uh, runway and just wait for further clearance. Uh, they they might also say clear to take off, and that means you can take off right away. They also might say hold short, and that means do not take off under any circumstance and basically stay on the taxiway. So I'm clear to take off. Now what we're going to do is we're going to line up our meatball. This guy right here, this, this circle with the with the lines coming out of it is called the uh, meatball, okay? Or flight path marker. That's telling you where the nose of the aircraft is heading. And what I want to do is I want to line up the meatball on the end of the runway, okay? So you can see right here, I can see the end of the runway. I can see the ILS uh, markers and all that. Sure. One, one. Is there a problem? Hold on, I'm be the, AW the tower's angry at me because I'm not taking off. It's going to kill my comms. We want to put that flight path marker on the end of the runway and then we basically are in position. And once we're in position, we're going to hold down our brake key, we're going to put the throttle up to 85%, and then we're going to take the nose wheel steering off and then let it roll for a few seconds, and then once we've rolled for a few seconds, we're going to put the afterburner fully on until we're at about 180 or 190 knots, and then we're going to pull up pretty hard. Um, about, I would say about at least 50 to 60% back, okay? So I'm going to unpause now. I'm in a good position. I can either turn the nose wheel steering off now or I can do it after I rev up, but uh, I'm going to turn it off now. I'm now going to put the throttle up to about 85%. I'm going to let it warm up the engine this way you don't have a compressor stall. Okay. Then I'm going to release. I'm going to let it roll for a few seconds and then I'm going to go full burn. Okay. Now we're rolling. I'm going to look at the airspeed indicator on the left side of my HUD. Once that is about 185, 190, I'm going to pull up. I'm going to pull directly up. And if you go off course while you're rolling, you can just use your rudder. Your rudder will still work. It just won't be as sensitive as when you have nose wheel steering. Okay. Right now, I'm just going to pull up. Press G to raise your landing gear. If you go above 300 knots with your landing gear uh, down, you're going to actually snap them off. So that is a uh, no-go. And uh, we probably missed it because I had the comms off, but... The, uh, one, one. Is there a problem? The tower will uh, clear you Surf to one. resume on navigation. We'll clear you to resume on navigation, Surf which means one, three. You're clear for take essentially Two. airborne. Let me kill the comms again. He'll tell you to resume navigation, which basically means you're now clear to fly and go on as fragged, and I'm no longer controlling you. And when you take off, what I like to do is I like to full burn until about 350 knots. Uh, remain 10 degrees nose up and then uh, come out of the burn. And that gives you enough uh, momentum to uh, maneuver and to maneuver onto the flight plan. So that's the basics of taking off. Um, if you guys want to see how to land, you can check out my ILS tutorial. But this is something that you're going to have to do every flight. And it's something that you really need to uh, become familiar with. In position. And I've seen a lot of people mess up. Three, airborne. I've seen a lot of people mess up uh, takeoffs and basically crash their aircraft. Four, and, airborne. And um, there's just one more thing that I want to stress is when we were taking off, we had to turn nose wheel steering off. And the reason for that is the nose wheel steering is too sensitive for a takeoff. If you have it on and if you make any abrupt movements whatsoever while you're taking off, your plane will basically, the gear will snap or you'll basically flip. And that's why you have to turn it off. Okay. So I uh, hope this video was uh, useful and uh, see you in the air.